Young shot caller, always been a baller. Know that you the one, I can feel it in my heart. Yeah, I won't stop charging. You're going to come harder. I can see you and die. Way beyond the stars. Girl. What's going on, guys? It's Steve. So, you know, yesterday the NBA lost, you know, Craig Sager. It's, it's actually pretty sad. I, didn't, I honestly didn't even know that he passed away until I started seeing some of you guys' comments yesterday saying that he passed away. Like, to be honest, it came as a shocker. I knew he had cancer, but I honestly, I thought he beat it because he was back, you know, covering the NBA. I didn't know. Like, to me, it was just out of nowhere. You know, I, I wasn't really following it up close like that, but I paid attention to it. But, you know, I just, I was driving home, reading comments at every red light. And someone just said, rest in peace, Craig Sager. And then, like, it had 10 likes and lots of other people were, a lot, a lot of other people were saying it. And I just finished watching his speech um, on ABC, you know, right before his passing. And it's, uh, it's incredible, man. Like, this is why you need to, you know, just follow whatever you want to do in your life now. Because you never know what's going to happen. Like, literally, I can be diagnosed with cancer tomorrow. You can be diagnosed with cancer tomorrow. And they can say... Oh, you only have three weeks to live. Okay, so now you're going to work hard to achieve whatever the hell you wanted to when you should be doing that right now because you never know what can happen. You know, anything can happen. Just chase after your dreams right now, man. You know, just go after what you want. Don't be afraid to be who you are. Like, look at Craig Sager. He walked around the NBA talking in front of millions of people on TV with those weird, colorful ugly jackets you know but he didn't care that was his personality you know so just be you go follow what you want to do like if you want to be a basketball player work your butt off and go after it you only have one life man like people don't understand that that people get so lazy like you have one life work as hard as you need to this is a quote that i live by it's do what you have to do no no it's do what you don't want to do but you have to do in order to start doing the possible and then eventually as you keep working harder the possible becomes the impossible meaning you're doing what you didn't think you could do two years ago or six months ago or start that business that you want to start or you know start that clothing company or get good grades in high school finish with a high gpa go to a great college finish and get a great job as a scientist as a doctor as a dentist as a nurse do something you know, like, you use Craig Sager as an example, man. Like, you can literally be diagnosed with something crazy tomorrow. Or you can die tomorrow. You, this is, Today is the only day you have guaranteed. And even the, the full length of today is not guaranteed. I can drop dead with a heart attack right now. You can have a brain aneurysm and you can die right now. So you have to follow your dreams. There's a reason why I upload two videos a day. There's a reason why because this is what I love to do. You know, I want YouTube to be a full-time job, you know, and then I want to work in and start a business related to basketball and sort of like, I'm not going to go into it, but, you know, I want to start a business related to basketball, sort of like a Buffalo Wild Wings type place, but with courts and with TV so you can watch games and food and things like that to get kids off the street. You know, I want to do something similar to that. I'm not going to say exactly what, but there's a reason why I upload twice a day on this channel even when I'm small like you guys don't even understand you know most people don't talk about this but I'm going to because I want to motivate you guys I make a, you know a solid amount you know I'm not gonna lie I've made the most I've made in a month a couple hundred dollars right you know it goes up and down depending on how the views go but to me that doesn't matter at this moment because I know if I continue to work my butt off one day I'll be bigger than all these other basketball youtubers you know because I think, you know, hard work pays off. Eventually, it'll pay off. And to be honest, no other YouTuber has my work ethic. Like, I would record videos in my car. I would record videos, you know, in, in a staircase in the back of my school. You know, like, literally, that's what I used to do. Because I couldn't record at home because there's too many people there, too much noise. And I couldn't record in college because my roommate was there, you know. So, there's that, you know. So, that's just an example. Like, don't ever give up. You can die tomorrow. Nothing is guaranteed. Go after your dreams. And by the way, we're a family, so our deepest condolences go to Craig Sager and his family. And to be honest, that came as a shocker, man. Like, honestly, I I was following. Him. I knew he had cancer, and I know he's. I, I knew he went through like chemotherapy over the summer or whatever. 
And, you know, to start the season, I saw him at games and stuff. So I'm like, okay, maybe he beat it. You know, I didn't really look it up. I just thought maybe he beat it. And when I was driving yesterday reading comments, I'm just looking at the comments and numerous people are saying RIP to Craig Sager. And I'm just like, wait, what? What? You know, I, I got sad because, you know, we I grew up seeing him on TV. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. You know, we, we all grew up watching him. So it's, it's a very sad thing. Um, but use his life as an example. Look how, how far he got. You know, look how far he got. You don't want to be the type of person that gets diagnosed with cancer and you're not striving to towards greatness. You know, or you're like, oh, I got cancer now. Now let me work hard. Start working hard now. Don't worry about anything else. Work hard now. Do what you need to do so you can do what you want to do. That's the quote that I live my life by. Do what you need to do, meaning, yeah, it's going to suck working hard, you know, not hanging out with friends sometimes because you need to study or you need to study business plans or the stock market. That's some of the things I do, you know. Do what you need to do so you can do what you want to do because once you have that money and never forget where you came from. Once you have that money, give back, you know, take care of your family. Remember, priorities. You know, I've, I've seen, I don't want to turn this into a lecture, but I've seen, you know, there's this YouTuber that I follow. I've been following for years. He went from having a skit channel, a pretty popular one at that, to, you know, vlogging. And then he quit for a year. He started working security. And then he went from there to doing gaming. And he came back to vlogging. He vlogged for like six months and then he went to gaming. And his gaming channel has like around 600, 700,000 subscribers, 800,000 now. And, you know, he vlogs his family, but his family still lives in a tiny apartment. And his um, his son and his daughter still live in a tiny room. They still have a tiny room and they share a room. But he brought a Lamborghini. You know, like, and he doesn't even have anywhere to park it. You know, I'm not trying to hate, but like, to me, it's like, where are your priorities? Your family should be first. You should have brought a house. Why, why did you buy a Lamborghini or at least one at that? Like, that's a waste of money. You know, that, that, that's selfish to me, you know? So that I lost a little respect, you know? So remember, if you ever become successful, guys, please take care of your family, man. Your family is so important. Before you take care of yourself, you have to take care of the ones that took care of you while you were striving to get there, unless you did it all by yourself, which not a lot of people do, but you, you could be that person. But anyway, man... Rest in peace to Craig Sager. It's truly sad. He's covered Jordan, LeBron, Melo, all the all-time greats, Kobe, etc. I'm out of here. Live your life, man. It's been Steve. Peace. Always been a baller. Know that you the one. I can feel it in my heart. Yeah.